Every day, Vice President Kamala Harris grows in popularity among voters. Her team has launched a new effort to reach out to conservatives who are unwilling to vote for Donald Trump in November. According to sources, the Republicans for Harris program, which was unveiled by the Harris campaign on August 4th, already has the endorsement of several former Trump advisers, some of whom you may not recognize. According to CNBC, over 30 GOP members have shown support for the plan, including Stephanie Grisham, former White House press secretary under the Trump administration, and Olivia Trua, former vice presidential national security advisor. Olivia Trua took her comments a bit further than Grisham and publicly called on her former boss, Vice President Mike Pence, to back Harris while speaking with MSNBC anchor Alex Witt. Trua encouraged Pence to do the right thing, according to a report from The Hill. However, it isn't just former Trump administration staff who have joined the Republicans for Harris' effort. Former governors like Massachusetts Bill Weld and congressional representatives like Illinois Adam Kinzinger have joined the initiative. The Harris campaign shared some details of Republicans of Harris with the Associated Press before the new initiative launched, and the outlet reported the campaign is trying to create a permission structure to help make voting for Harris easier for Republicans in November. The Associated Press also reported that the Harris campaign referred to the initiative as a campaign within a campaign. The campaign revealed it would rely on other Republicans, believing the best way to capture conservative voters is through contact with other Republicans. According to NBC News, the Republicans for Harris announcement came just one day after Trump published a scathing message about purging the Republican Party of members who don't support him, like former Georgia Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, who endorsed Harris in July. CNN reported that the Republicans for Harris group was formerly known as Republicans for Biden, and its reloach brought with it targeted ads and events aimed at convincing voters. Kamala Harris is not a San Francisco radical according to the news outlet.